In this tutorial I want to look at how we can create a custom workflow in Team Center. So what I'm after is something that's going to give me a um, new release process. So we're in the workflow designer and we'll start by just creating a new root template. And we'll just give this a uh, name. So we're going to do a release to um, 16, which is um, putting it into production. And we'll just finish that. So it gives us our um, start and finish options. So the first thing we need to do is place our items in between here. And we'll start by doing a uh, review. So we'll click on the review and double click in here just to place that item. Secondly, we want to um, to a production release so that's the add status task and we'll put that in here next by double clicking and finally we will have a um, straight task and we'll place that in here so that sort of defines our workflow um, click and hold down and we can join these items together to define our process. So now clicking on each um, task, the first one we want to um, label this check a review and we will go into our um, handlers and add in the um, options that we want. So under start we will have a um, EPM inherit and we'll create that um, and secondly we will have a EPM uh, set rule condition and we'll apply an argument here so we want to use um, an ACL access control list and uh, that needs to be vault. So we'll create that. So we've added these two start items. Um, under complete, we want to add a third one. And this one is going to be a um, follow up. And we'll create that. So that's the um, process that we want on this item. So the next one is going to be a um, uh, setting it to released. So here we're going to call it um, production release. Um, if we want to, we can add in notes here. That helps um, other people um, understand what it is you're doing. And again, we'll go into our action handler and just double check. Uh, we'll change this value in here. Um, we'll just use a fixed and we'll modify that. And uh, we see that the other one we've got is um, set status to um, append this. So we can close that option. And the last one is going to be a um, an email task so um, we will call this just um, notify owner and under our handlers we want to start with an EPM notify and we've got three um, arguments in here. So the first one is going to be a um, subject. So this is going in the subject header. And um, we'll just have the header as being. And then we'll add a second. And this is going to be the recipient. Uh, 
and we'll use the dollar owner so that's the owner of the task and lastly we'll have comment and this is going to say that the um, review has been completed and approved so we'll create that and close that out um, if you want to look at further information you've got um, checker information we could apply um, uh, people and how many you want to sign it off and um, this completes our um, process that we wanted to create. So we start off by um, having a checker review. The uh, number of participants and stuff can be um, assigned when the um, workflow is created. Then it goes through and releases once it's been approved. And then a notification email is sent out at the um, completion of the review and release.